This is Mark Krikorian again in South Texas, near the border. You see the fence behind me. This is not on the border, and that's the case in most of South Texas. But also, this is an interesting stretch because the fence here, as it continues up to my left, it curves back on itself. And you'll see through the fence here, through the spaces between the bollards, you can see the rest of the fence. It actually curves back. And that's not because the river curves, because the river is a little ways further down. I think it's because of the terrain, and so it's kind of a flood basin, flood plain, as it were. But it does highlight how the you can't have the same kind of straight fence you can have in, say, Arizona or California, where the border is all land and it's just a straight line. Here, not only is the border itself squiggly as the Rio Grande goes up and down, but because of the terrain, the fence can't even necessarily follow the river, uh, which is always true here in Texas. Often it's set back, but usually it's set back in mostly a straight line. Here it's actually set back and it's curving around on itself. It's not a unique thing, but it really does underline how border fencing, as important as it is, isn't as simple as just having a straight line wall and that's all you can do. It's because of changes, because of the terrain and everything, it's a much more complicated thing. It's still a useful tool, but it's not a kind of set it and forget it silver bullet that can solve everything.